Anonymous watch guy here. Quick wrist check. We're on the Selton Series 00 that I had on the channel a couple days ago. But today I am taking a look at a watch that I've owned for quite some time. I won't call it a full review video because I'm not going to go super in depth at everything that this watch does because it does a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but we are looking at the Citizen Blue Angels World Chronograph today. I've had this watch for a long time. It's a really cool watch. If you're looking for a feature packed uh, kind of grab and go quartz watch that's going to give you really good accuracy with some cool features at a reasonable price, uh, I think the Blue Angels series from Citizen is definitely uh, an option. Really like this watch. Let's look at the specifications. It is a 43 millimeter watch. I measured just at 48 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip. It does have a very strange 25 millimeter lug opening. So not a lot of strap options for this one, but the bracelet is actually pretty good on this. Just over 12 millimeters thick on this one. It is a push-pull crown, uh, but it does give you 200 meters water resistance on this one. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I definitely also like the blue and yellow kind of bicolor bezel on it. Uh, definitely like that look. This is a sapphire crystal with inner anti-reflective treatment. Really nice sapphire crystal. Gives you a nice shot of that beautiful kind of sun ray blue dial there uh, on this one. This is running the EcoDrive H800 movement. Uh, so as long as you keep this one charged up, um, it is good to go. Powered by any light. I will say if you let this one go completely dead, lose all of its juice, um, it's kind of a pain to go through the reset procedure on it. This watch is totally packed with lots and lots of features. It is synchronized to the atomic clock. So you've got atomic timekeeping technology in 26 different time zones. And all the different time zones are listed around the inner side of kind of your chapter ring inside the watch there. When you initially set the time, you select which uh, time zone you're in, and then the watch will automatically set itself, which is pretty nice. 1 20th of a second chronograph. Uh, you got a perpetual calendar, uh, power reserve indicator. You've got day date, uh, 24 hour counter. Uh, so lots and lots of cool stuff on this watch. Obviously your top chronograph pusher up here is going to start your running seconds. Uh, I also like the blue on the chronograph pushers here as well. And then again, your blue and yellow bezel going around the side of the crystal here. I will say, I don't know what material this is. Uh, it's almost like some kind of hard plastic even. And it will nick or chip. I've got a couple little nicks on the bezel on this. Uh, so it can be a little bit of a nick or scratch magnet. Not really sure what that material is. Uh, but again, this watch, it, it's, it does everything. Uh, I couldn't even, it's very complicated. <laughs> I really couldn't even go into all the detail and explain what it does. Your little, uh, it's not a chronograph pusher, but your little crown over here on the lower left moves your outer rotating, but your well, inner outer rotating bezel. How's that sound? Uh, there in the watch. Uh, but again, at the top there, you've got uh, your power reserve. Uh, you've got your 24 hour sub dial there. This is your 1 20th of a second counter down here. You've got your days of the week. You've got your date function over there at the three o'clock position. Uh, you've got Citizen Eco Drive, World Chronograph, 200 meters water resistance, Blue Angels over there by your three o'clock. Radio controlled over here by your nine o'clock register. It's definitely a busy dial. There's a lot of text, uh, but I definitely like that blue color and then your pops of yellow throughout 
Definitely like the sword style there on the back of your seconds hand. Very nice looking watch, really nice looking dial. Feature packed. There's all kind of videos out there on all the features of the watch, how to set the time and all that. So I'm not going into depth with that, all of that, but a very nice looking watch. Uh, these are, I think, $725 full retail, but you can find them frequently cheaper than that. Citizen actually has this watch on sale right now for $580, US uh, which I think is a pretty good price for this watch. You've got some brushing on the sides of your case, high polished bevel, more brushing on the top. You've got a brushed, mostly brushed finished on your bracelet with some high polish on your center links on the outside. Pretty nicely finished watch for the price point. Uh, the bracelet is sized with push pins though, your split pins. You do have a signed clasp that is a double pusher that is milled. And then on the back, you have your Blue Angels logo and some specs, World Chronograph, Eco Drive. Obviously you don't open the case back on these. It shouldn't need any kind of service. And as long as you keep it juiced up it's a great grab and go watch. Again, if you do let it go dead on you though, uh, you've got to get it charged up and then it's kind of a, uh, a little bit of a pain to get it to reset. Uh, but uh, kind of the date time set sequence on this is a little bit tough. You can't just pull this crown out and change the date and time. When you pull it out to the first position, you'll see that your seconds hand go to your current home time zone. That's kind of how you start the setting process. And then you can move your dial here to change that, that seconds hand around to get it to the correct home time zone. I'm on Eastern time, so you see it points to New York City. But that's how you kind of start to uh, do the, set, the setting of the time process. But let's take a look at the loom on the watch and what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here you can see the loom on the watch. Pretty solid loom uh, on all of your applied indices and on your handset. Uh, pretty good application of loom. You've got a nice blue glow. I don't know if it's BGW9 or not, uh, but pretty solid loom on the watch. No complaints in that category. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. It is a little bit of a larger watch, again at 43 millimeters, but you do have sub 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip just over 12 millimeters thick, so it's pretty thin, uh, where it's very nice. I think it'd work well for a wrist that is smaller than mine, uh, but a really cool watch with loads of features, and uh, I've had it in the collection for quite some time, and it's definitely one that I'll probably always keep. The Citizen Blue Angels World Chronograph. If you liked the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.